Hey guys, Ken Ross here, and I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at their essential expenses. And today, I'm going to do a little something different for you today. I'm going to spend some time on the whiteboard here, and I'm going to kind of break down some of the more dollars and cents of this uh, particular process, what it really looks like to save money, right? And I've sent you or I've given you the tools, right? So if you want to do some of this on your own, you're certainly welcome to, uh, but I would hope that if you haven't seen my channel or this is the first time you're looking at this that you would check out the first video which is how to save money today go ahead and check that out come back to this video and and, and start to really understand what it is I'm gonna go into here but I'm going to spend a little bit of time in a scenario here let's say you're a manufacturing company and you have several different businesses or different services I'm sorry several different services you certainly have different businesses too that would be great um, several different services and those services are what you use to operate your business, right? I'm going to look as a cost reduction specialist, I'm going to look at some of the low hanging fruit here. I'm going to look at some of these expenses here that really could benefit from some deep analysis. And so, for instance, telecom, that, that includes not just uh, phone, telephone, right? But mobile phones or wireless, right? And internet. It could also include TV, which I'll get to in a second, but this is something that you need to kind of operate your business. You need to be able to accept incoming phone calls. You need to take orders, right? You may have a website and you get orders from your website if you're in manufacturing, or um, you certainly have people out in the field, potentially, grabbing different things, different goods that you use to provide the manufacturing that you need. Like there, there could be certain screws or widgets or things that you need to operate your business, right? You're going to have people that you're going to need to contact and stay in touch with. So you're going to have a mobile expense there as well. That is all part of your telecommunications package. Merchant services is another one. Is another one. It's separate from telecommunications and that's how you're going to get paid by your uh, vendors. If vendors pay you, for instance, if you're providing services to them or they're providing re refunds, as well as your customers, right? Your customers are ultimately the biggest part of your merchant services expenses here, and that's accepting payments using some type of platform, either a point of sale terminal or you have a virtual terminal, or maybe even you have a website where people can place orders and they check things out and the merchant services provider provides a hook there. You're going to have an expense to do that, there is going to be a percentage, they call it, right? And I've been in the merchant services world for a long time. I worked for the largest payment processor in the world for 13 years. So I know a little bit about how this all works. Uh, waste is another one, right? There are certain things you're going to throw away. You're going to manufacture things. You're going to produce waste products or you're going to want to get, get rid of some things because, hey, I've produced this very nice thing for, for my clients, but they don't want all the stuff that comes with it. <laughs> Utilities. Last kind of thing, you may operate maybe even a, a storage facility where you're storing some of your products, or you may have forklifts where you're moving things around and, and, and you know, those types of things. Utilities uh, um, in, that, in those particular instances require a little more in-depth analysis. There could be expenses for maybe forklifts or uh, operating of certain tools. They use certain types of fuel. And so, uh, or even your fleet, if you have, say you have vehicles, and you have people that drive those vehicles and they have fleet cards where they can put gas in their car or any of those types of things. I worked for the largest class one railroad and in my, um, my time there, I come to understand that fuel is one of the largest expenses in the railroad. It competes with employee costs, right? And if you're able to save 1% in fuel costs, that's $140 million to that business. What would that do for your business if you had a business that big? I don't know, but I certainly looked at that and said, hey, that's something worth spending some time and looking into. So utilities is another one. So let's kind of break this down and get down to some numbers here. Let's say, for instance, for the sake of this argument, I'm going to use some really nice round numbers for myself, make this easy for you and um, do the math right here in front of you. So here's $1,000 here for this expense. Let's say that's what we spend here. And for merchant services, we have a total bill uh, uh, north of $140,000 in, um, in processing, 
but you're gonna you're gonna pay a fee of let's say three percent. Not maybe a little bit high, but I'm I'm gonna be conservative here on this, and that's forty two thousand dollars in expenses on this hundred and forty thousand dollars, right? That's three percent. So that's where that comes. Oh, <laughs> I did the math wrong already. It's not forty two thousand. It's forty two hundred. Forty two hundred. There you go. All right. <laughs> my, my mistake. Can't even read my own notes. Okay, waste here. I'm going to make that easy too. We're going to say that's 2000 And utilities, let's say 1500 There you go. So this is what you pay every month. This is your total. Like, let's put up the total here. I'm going to have to do the uh, math. 42 plus 1000 that's 52 72 87 8700 Right. This is how much in essential services for these four categories that you need to operate your business. And they're not negotiable. They're not something you can just say, hey, let's just eliminate. You have to decrease these. Right. You can't in order to make this a smaller number, you have to decrease these individually. You have to work on each one of these individually. And you have to understand how to make this smaller. Right? How to make this one smaller. Can I lower this percent? You certainly can. You can negotiate that right? and change this. You can look at your waste bill and say, how much waste do we produce? And is it worth investing in things that I have now? Or are there other creative solutions that we can come up with to lower this? But what I would say is that in our analysis and in working with customers over 20 years, 25 to 28% is about what you could look to save in each one of these categories. And it's individual, not just as a whole, where I can't just say 25% of this as a whole. We have to look at each one of these individually. And there certainly could be room for improvement in other places. But for the sake of this argument, I'm going to change these numbers, right? Instead of 1,000 here, it's 750. That's 25% off this one. This one here, instead of 4,200, it's going to be 3,150. It's 25%. This one here, pretty easy. That's 750. This is 1500, right? It's just two of those, right? And then this one, 1125, right? That's your new expenses if you slash all of these by 25%, right? Which then makes this bottom line, right? This different, and that's going to be. Um, I had I had the number there, but I'm gonna have to do it all over again here. 25, and uh, let's see, put the one here because that's 12, and seven, eight, nine. 14, 15, one up here, four, five, six, 6,000. This is your new, your new expense, right? Lowered by 25%. And the difference here is a bottom line expense, right? It's something that you get to take home that you didn't get to take home before, right? So if you look at all of the expenses, right? And let's say this right here is your employee costs. Right? This is your goods cost. And it certainly could be different. This right here are different services. And this is your take home, right? Or the business gets the take home. We've lowered this. We've made this smaller by cutting this down and adding it. This part right here gets added to your take home. This is your savings. It's the opportunity to save money and ultimately in the end change the bottom line of your business. Now what could your business do with this extra amount of uh, of dollars? This is, I believe this is 1275 or 1175, right? 1175. Extra 1175. What could they do with that money every month? That's something you should really look at and understand that if you spend the time and, and, and effort and necessary of really breaking this down and saying, hey, can I look at each one of these and can I lower my expenses? Because in the end, it's going to turn my service providers into a smaller part of my overall profits here and my expenses. So my revenue, right, my take home is larger. And, and, and maybe we can look at this cost, right, the goods cost, lower some of that or the employee costs. Certainly don't necessarily love to talk about employee costs per se, but there are certain costs for employees like healthcare costs or 
um, um, uh, insurance that you can look at that doesn't change how much it costs you, you to pay your employees, but certainly supplement what the employees are being paid. And that's something that always would be great for you as a business owner and ultimately as an employee would make an employee happier because, hey, my business is actually investing in me and they've, they've lowered these expenses for me so that I can live and, and operate and be an efficient worker. And for the business, the business gets to take home more of its profits. So with that, that's kind of what I have today. That's what I want to explain. I wanted to help you understand and navigate what it really looks like to look at your expenses as several different things here and say, hey, how do we make this something that really can benefit you as a business owner, as someone who wants to operate a business and rely on people to look at these things for you and the different details about your services to be able to do this effectively and efficiently. Because if you're trying to do this yourself and you're certainly willing and able and, and, and certainly capable of doing it, you need to understand and you need to be able to invest in the right tools and the right understanding of this of each one of these to lower them efficiently. So that's what I have for today. Would love to hear your comments in the comments section. Would love to understand what it is you're doing to save money. Like I said, I have a goal this year to save 52 businesses money regardless of what it costs me. I feel like this example here will help you understand the, the potential of what I'm, I'm giving you here as far as information and would hope that you would spend the time, take a look at my playlist, go through that process and understand how to navigate your bills effectively. Make sure you talk to your friends and understand what they're paying for so that you don't overpay for your services too. And if you lower your expenses, I would love to hear about that. So please tell me that in the comment section below. Please visit my website. I am KenRoss.com. And until next time, we'll see you around.